Hello anyone and everyone, I'm Echo, and today we're exploring Amnesia, the Dark Descent. We're here in the sewer, it's just my favorite place in the world, because as we all know, I love creepy dark places that have zero decent hiding spaces and are filled with water that makes you walk slower and create a lot of noise if you try to move at a normal speed. So this whole, sh 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 whole shebang is just great. It's just grand. It's the freaking best that anybody could imagine. Um, hey, hold up. Can we interact with this? No. No, I guess not. Oh, darn. So I guess the ladder, I assumed it had been, like, raised up and we were going to be maybe lower it, but it seems it was broken off instead. That's not good. If it's broken off, that means it was already lowered, which means we probably can't lower it anymore. So, ugh, not going up that way, most likely. Oh, darn. Um, so right now, I'm heading back to the center main area, because it's the only freaking area that I can think of to do anything with. Because we got this big thing going on. And we've got a metal pipe that we grabbed from somewhere down there. Sitting right here on our inventory. A short pipe. There you go. Oh, snap. Yep. That's pretty much what I figured would happen. Cool. Alright. So now we've got this new area, which is another place with no good hiding spaces and lots of water. Just great. In fact... Okay, we, we can move a little bit faster with uh, sprinting, but it seems it's... It, it, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going crazy. I'm pretty sure it's uh, significantly slower. Okay, there's another room, and there's some broken bars. Why do I have a feeling something's going to break through them later when we come back this way? Alright. Well, let's go check out the door first. Because... Besides the dead rats... Oh! Welp. Daniel, how do you feel? You got a slight headache. I don't blame you, man. Daniel, turn around this instant. You are carrying the shadow with you. Oh, hey. That is one of the zombie mints. It's been killed. Cool. That's good for us. Uh, though I suppose that's supposed to make us worry that if something is down here which could kill one of the zombie mens and one of the and the zombie mens were uh, strong enough to kill us then we should be really worried because whatever killed the zombie men would be even scarier right I guess so but uh Hmm. You know, they are quite ugly, but they're not actually all that scary looking. In my opinion. Are we supposed to do something with this? Is this like a puzzle item of some kind? The detached limbs? Because this is just a dead end. Can't do anything with the blood stain. Can't do anything with the rocks. Okay. Hmm. Where would we put a piece of dead body that would help? Where could we possibly? Oh, we move really slow while carrying this. That's not good. Let's uh 
let's take the small one with us then. If we're going to take any of them. I mean, I really can't imagine how we could use these. But... I mean, it's the only thing I can think of, right? They give us a dead end. A dead end with a dead monster. Something just broke through the gate at the end of the hole. Just like I thought. Don't even have a good hiding spot. Ah, oh, shit. For some reason, this stuff here doesn't hurt us. But that stuff there, standing on it, does. Okay. Or, it doesn't hurt, it lowers our sanity or something. <sighs> okay. In case you're wondering, yes, I did intentionally drop the limb out there. Oh, awesome. Great. Just absolutely nothing. I, I can't hide. There's nowhere to hide. Crouching, right? And this is kind of lame, to be honest. If you're gonna make something chase me, a place where I can actually hide. That'd be preferable. I mean, oh, I suppose this technically is a hiding space because it doesn't have direct line of sight on us, but if it walks into the room for even an instant, it doesn't even have to go all the way into the room. Just like two, three feet past the door, and it'll be in far enough to see around the corner. Another limb. I missed this one. Okay. Now. Here's something. Did it? No, it didn't. Damn it. I was gonna say. Uh, well, we didn't get this in the water. Maybe if we got it in the water, it would. It would work that way. I was thinking maybe, similar to the invisible monster, if we throw the severed limbs in the water, maybe that slows it down. And maybe that's the trick to this section of the game. Maybe we're supposed to walk around and it's like pretty much guaranteed to appear, but we use our uh, severed limbs that the game has given us to distract it to give us enough time to run away. Well, just in case, I'm going to take this one with us. Okay. Running away is also a good plan. Playing the game super cautiously. Haven't died yet, so it's working out for me. Don't complain. <laughs> I don't even know if it's actually, like, followed me. Hmm. Uh, doesn't seem to have? I don't know. Looking out is probably a bad idea. Because, um, looking at monsters not only lowers your sanity, but also sort of helps them hone in on your position. So if I look at him, even just as he runs around the corner, that could potentially be enough to let him know that I'm in the room. And once he walks in the room, he can see me. Uh, 
is the most riveting gameplay on YouTube. Most exciting, best, most entertaining gameplay you've ever seen, I bet. Me, hiding in a corner, waiting for the music to stop. I'm not sure if it's a good mechanic that the music plays the way it does when a monster's around and stops when the monster's not around. I mean, on the one hand, there aren't many ways that I know of, personally, to, uh, to know when the monster's around or when it's left. So the music cues are good for that. On the other hand, it's kind of cheap, because our character in the game can't actually hear the music. I don't think the music is going to stop this time. I have a feeling. Maybe it's just going to keep going. The monster doesn't seem to have followed us. But the music is still going, so... Okay. Maybe I was right in my original guess. Or intended to keep going forward and... Just avoid the monster. Maybe, perhaps, using the severed limbs as a distraction. Alright, so left or straight? Straight looks a little more friendly, I guess? I lied, they look exactly the same. Just keep going, just keep going. Laudanum! Oh, great, dead end. Oh, there it is! Okay, it looks slightly different from the regular Zombiemans. to be expected, I suppose. <sighs> Let's try going around the other side, I suppose. I think it's, like, blocking the one direction we're supposed to go in. It's in front of a doorway. I don't see any other. There isn't... Right? There isn't a left path there. Okay. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Because, yeah, there's there's no alternate paths. There's just this one sort of circular way. So from here, throw the limb over there. Make noise. That should attract the monster. Or not. Yep. It didn't... It didn't move. Oh, shit! I messed up. It saw me. There's no way it didn't see me. I thought it hadn't moved. But it had. Okay. It was not fast enough to see what room I went in. So maybe it won't come this way. Maybe? Oh. 
I don't... That's so weird, though. Why didn't the, uh... The first two things I threw... Do much of anything? Like, the first... The limb I threw was the farthest away of the three items I threw. And the limb... It was also kind of around the corner, I guess, so maybe he just didn't hear that one. But the second thing I threw was the rock. And the rock... That, that second thing I threw, the first rock, was the closest of all the items that I threw. Like, the closest to him. So why didn't he react to that one? Or was he just slow to react? I'm not sure. Alright. He does not seem to have followed us. And we've got... One more item. And it's really freaking heavy, so we're gonna move super slowly. Great! Just fantastic. Wow. This is gonna take forever. Well, I'll see you all next week. Where we will have finally reached the monster. With this massive thing that we're carrying that is gonna take super long. Great, and now I have to scratch my face. So now it's gonna take even longer because we have to stop for a second. Hope you're happy. Not down there. I guess it's still over here, but uh, I don't want to have to run past it. Because I don't. The, the problem with running past it is simply that I don't know what area is past it. So I don't know if there's a hiding space or a loading door. I don't know. We run past it and it leads us to a like a dead end with a puzzle, then we're fucked. Oh, it's right down there. Don't look at it, Daniel. I mean I kinda need to keep looking at it a little bit, because I have to go in that direction. But don't look directly at it, Daniel. And then you won't lose your sanity. Oh, and also, I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe... Yeah, it's still down there, jeez. Can this... Is it still right there? Yeah, it's still right there at the corner. Okay, throw that. Okay. Now, I don't know how fast it moves, but regardless... It seems to actually be pretty slow. I'm not sure. Out of the way, we're past it now. Alright, what's over here? Dead end to the right. Door. Awesome. Oh my god! What the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, I'm sorry I screamed. That was not good. Where did you even come from? You nasty fucking thing. It's running faster than me. I was wrong. It does not move slow at all. I'm dead. First death of the game. Run. Yeah, no duh. You know what? I'm going to edit that scream in, uh, in editing, which is where you often edit things, and make it quieter. Because... That was ridiculous. I have more pride than that. <laughs> Maybe I'll just mute that part of the video. That was ridiculous, though. It was on the other side of the room, so why did it... Oh, and this door is repaired? Okay, that's weird. Okay. All the body parts are gone, though. Okay, so I guess... I guess the, uh... Door... <sighs> this is weird. So I guess, upon reloading the save, broken objects get repaired? And, uh... But... Used objects in the environment don't get put back in their place? That's weird. 
I hope this doesn't put us at a huge disadvantage. Because now we don't have any limbs that we can use to distract it. I'm going to have to use those rocks. Um, now... I have to wonder, why did it come after us once we got up to that door? Because when we first... So I'm thinking one of two possible things. One, when we threw the large torso, it might have actually come towards the torso, and since we were crouch walking through the water, we walked slower, and maybe it reached the torso right before we rounded the corner, and it saw us and came for us. Or maybe, because after I got out of the water, I stood up and I stopped crouching, and maybe I started making enough noise for it to hear us. In fact, I get the slight feeling that this monster, just because of how this mechanic works with having to throw things to distract it, this monster might be blind and entirely sound-based. Like, that might be the entire... strategy behind getting around it. Maybe we have to be as quiet as possible and just never... never make any noise if we can help it. And the thing is gone. Okay. Fucking line piece of crap jump scare McGee over here made me scream like a freaking little girl well, not like a little girl like a shitty YouTuber I'm gonna keep this rock with me just in case and also keep an eye behind me Oh, shit. I'm really afraid to make noise now. Now, just in case. Alright. Now, I know it was probably a coincidence, but he did start attacking me once I got close to that door, so I wanted to check. I'm gonna do a second check, just in case. I want to check just in case maybe that's a forced trigger for him to come and attack you once you get close to that door. It would be, frankly, cheating if it was, but, you know. Just in case. Have to stay very, very quiet. I'm hunting... Horrible monstrosities. Oh, my God. Please, just get me to a safe place soon, game. Ladder. Fantastic. Ladder's probably a loading door. No? Oh. Great. Awesome. Okay, problem is, where's that noise coming from? The bottom or the top of the ladder? Oh, well. Loading. There's never any escape. Things like this live with you always. How could he know if Henry would show up the road or even at his house? Is he that mad? Would he do that? Oh, okay. So, that moment almost topped. Almost, I say. Almost. I must repeat. Almost topped the, uh, moment in the wine cellar or whatever area it was. The one where we got attacked by that first invisible 
monster. That is still, up to this point, the scariest moment in the game. But, uh, that little jump scare with the, I presume, blind thing... That was close. That was second worst. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, this little play session here. I uh, hope I will remember to edit that scream so it isn't ear-shattering for you headphone users. And when we come back, we'll explore this place with many directions to go in. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.